Oh, sorry. Uh, g'day. How you doing? Welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, we'll talk about what I was doing there in a second. But, uh... Today we're looking at December 28th, 2025's Circle of Summons by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our uh, says here at Gas HQ somewhere. My name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Uh, if I look a little bit distracted at the minute, it's because um, I've been playing a lot of Ball X Pit. And uh, it's, it's a roguelike and there's a guy. And the guy plays the game for you. I don't have my hands on a controller right now, but my PS5 is playing itself. Um, I feel like there's a joke about relationships in there, but uh, we'll get to that. Or we won't, uh, unlike the thing that I was looking at earlier. Um, pardon me. Uh, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create set and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats for a very fast time. One hat for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to jump into it now. Uh, let's do it. So, uh, I forgot what this one, uh, what type of, uh, puzzle this is. This is a, uh, but. Uh, um, I didn't even give it a name. Um, we're going to call it Some Circles. Uh, so, uh, this is a Some Circle Sudoku. Uh, why does it have Some Circles? Well, normal Sudoku rules play. Each box, each row, and each column must contain this one to nine once each. Now, we have some circles in the grid. These circles may or may not have numbers in them, but... Uh, digits, um, digits orthogonally, uh, neighboring it, so like that eight there, must have digits, uh, there. If there's a circle, it's the sum of all of its orthogonal neighbors. So like, if this was nine, this could be two, three, four. Maybe that is actually what it is, I do not remember. Uh, and six here would be like five and one, or something. Uh, that's it. That's all you need in order to solve today's puzzle. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it now. Let's do it. So, when I tested this puzzle, and that's what you saw um, when I uh, loaded in. Um, when I tested this puzzle, I got a fairly reasonable time. But the way I did it involved a step, which is a little tricky for what we'd call gas. Um, I'm gonna show you the way I did it to start with, and then I will show you an actual simpler way through the puzzle. So, uh, this six uh, has to be what, an absolute minimum of one, two, one, two, because that's the lowest these two could sum to and those two could sum to. Now, this cell can't be that cell, so it must be there in box one. Um, so, uh, if both of these were two, this would have to be one, two, which would break. Uh, and if, uh, which is what I use to start this. So like, we can just put both of these as one. Um, now that is quite hard for gas. So let's do it a bit better way. What's the lowest these three cells can sum to? One, two, three. What is that? It's gotta be a one. That's it. That's how you actually start this puzzle. Uh, two, one, uh, both of those are one. This is a two. Uh, now, uh, this is a three or a four, but is that a three or a four? Uh, no, that's a four or a five. Now, because this is two, uh, these two have to sum to five, but because this cell sees a two there and that one sees a two there, it can't be two, three, so it must be one and four. One goes there, four goes there. This is five and two. Uh, now, this uh, this three down here is going to make that a nine and a three. Now, uh, what's the lowest this digit can be? Well, it would need a four there, so that's going to make that a nine. This is a one, seven. Uh, four can't be the sum of... Uh, one can't be the sum of three digits, so that's a seven. That, well, it can, but... Uh, you know, we're not really doing that math today. Uh, that's a five. Now, 
Uh, can I do anything else before I go the other way? Nope. Let's do it. Uh, what's the loss this can be? Uh, well, uh, a lot, uh, this is a better way. We've done a lot of arrow Sudoku before. Uh, lowest three digits can sum to is six, but we have six, seven, eight there. So this has to be nine. If this can't have a two, it must have three and five to make eight because we're already using the one. So this is going to be three. This is going to be five. This is two and eight, but eight, two and one go like that. Two here is going to be a four there. Uh, six and seven. Uh, this is a three. Oh, nine there. It's going to put a nine and a five. Uh, this is a four and a seven. Uh, now let's go back the other way. This nine, four, eight means that that's a three. Uh, this cell sees nine and four, making this an eight. Uh, nine and four go that way. This is five, eight, uh, six there. Now this is a three, which means that has to sum to six. Do I know which way that goes? No. Uh, this has to sum to six. I mean, I know that th that's the low digit and that's the high digit, but I don't know which way it goes. Uh, now, oh, I could have written this in all the way back at the start. Well, not quite, I needed that seven. Uh, Five and six, see that cell? This cell sees five and six, so this has to be one and seven. Seven here is gonna tell us which way around that goes. Uh, two, seven here, uh, one, two here. Uh, two, three, and six, this is a two, which puts two there, this is three and six. Uh, this can never be a six, because I need to put a one in both of those cells as a minimum, making that 10, so that's three and six. Uh, now that's three, uh, three and two, the lowest that cell can be, cause I've already got one and two there has to be a three. So that goes like that. Now this is four, five, eight, four out. This is six, seven, uh, seven, six going that way. Eight, making that eight and six, uh, three, four, five along there. Uh, take the three out, take the five out. All right. Now. I could use the X-Wing. Okay, well, let's let's talk. Uh, am I going to find any digits faster? Let's have a look. Nines. I've only got one nine left to place in the grid, and it goes there. Um, I'm a bit loath to use it, uh, but that's a six. All right. Uh, oh, all right. Here's a better... Here's, Let's all pretend that we know what an X-Wing is. But uh, one, where does one go in this box? Has to go here, which makes that a two and a one. Where does two go in this row? Can't go there, because we've got the two there, making that a two. Uh, seven, oh, and that's gonna unwind my X-Wing on sevens. Four and seven. Uh, three, take three out of there. Uh, this is an eight. Uh, three, four, five, the three can't go there. So that's a three, uh, but, but this is a four, five, uh, seven can't go on that cell. So that's a seven. Uh, and I've missed my circles two and three. That's a four. That's a five. It's going to be four, five, eight, four. I was like, this is approaching a deadly pattern. Have I just forgot to use clues? I absolutely have. This has been Circle of Samans by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.